Welcome back to Virginia this morning, live right here on CBS 6. Our friends at Sylvan Heights Bird Park invite you to plan a field trip to observe the largest collection of waterfowl, including rare and endangered species from all around the world. In this segment, we learn a little bit more about a New World parrot that's known for their long tail and beautiful colors. Take a look. Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm an educator here at Sylvan Heights Bird Park. And today I'm here to introduce you to our macaws. Macaws are a group of parrots that are native to Mexico, Central, and South America. There are 17 species of macaws that come in a variety of bold and beautiful colors. With their large size, long tails, and beautiful colors, macaws are one of the most recognizable groups of parrots. Macaws typically live in forest canopy habitats, many living in dense tropical rainforest like the Amazon. Macaws typically like to live in pairs, family groups, or larger flocks in the wild. They are a highly social bird. Macaws typically mate for life and will lay two to four eggs in the hollow of a tree called a tree cavity. In the wild, macaws can live up to 50 years, but in captivity, they can live over 75 years with the proper care and nutrition. Macaws have a large, strong, curved beak designed for eating a variety of foods, including seeds, fruit, nuts, flowers, leaves, and invertebrates. In the wild, macaws have even been observed eating clay from riverbanks and cliff sides. It's thought to kind of supplement their diet with additional nutrients and possibly even neutralize toxins that they would find um, in some of their foods they'd eat in the wild. Macaws can even use their beak as an extra foot to help them when they're climbing. Macaws have strong, agile toes with two toes facing forward and two toes facing backwards. This foot configuration is called zygodactyl and is found in many other species of birds, including woodpeckers. Macaws use their feet for perching, climbing, and like a hand for grasping objects such as food. All of the 17 macaw species are considered threatened or endangered. Logging, development, and farming have reduced macaw habitat in the wild. Although they're protected in many areas in their natural habitat, Macaw chicks are still collected for sale in the illegal pet trade market. Macaws are also bred in captivity and sometimes kept as pets. But due to their large size and care requirements, they can make very challenging pets and they're certainly not for everyone. Screaming is a natural behavior for macaws. They do it to keep in contact with each other, to def define their territories, and as a form of play. When they're living in dense rainforest habitats, they may not always be able to see each other, so screaming allows them to hear each other no matter where they are. Macaws can even learn to imitate sounds that they hear, including human speech. Sometimes you'll hear them practicing it over and over until they get it just right. Thanks for joining us again today here at Sylvan Heights Bird Park. We hope that you'll come out and see and hear the macaws for yourself. Oh, Sylvan Heights Bird Park, located at 500 Sylvan Heights Way in Scotland Neck, North Carolina. They're open Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Face coverings are still required in their gift shop. For all the information, you can visit our website by later this afternoon, wtvr.com slash VTM. We'll have a direct link there so you can learn more about Sylvan Heights Bird Park. Uh, it, they, they're transfixing, Bill. Aren't they just yeah. so cool to see? I only have one thing to say. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You see his little that beak and his great. little tongue working on it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. So here's the thing. She was talking about how they use their beak for food and all the other stuff. And then, you know, I'm watching them. They're using it to pull themselves up, too. And then she mentioned it afterwards. And I'm like, oh, you left that out. Oh, no, she got it. It uh, really, really. I'm just like you said, I'm kind of fascinated by them. You just sit and watch them. Don't think they would make good pets. They're very big and they're very loud. Well, wait a minute. That sounds well, like me. Oh well. Anyway. <laughs> well, I think a lot of a lot of friends right now who have macaws as a family pet are like, oh contraire, Mr. Bevins. <laughs> they make a great, but you know what the reality is. They, they they have such a long lifespan that they certainly can outlive the family unit. So that's something to consider. And I think that's another part of the story, too, is if you are bringing them in as a family pet, um, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a big thing to take into um, you better get ready to pass it on to your grandchildren. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's amazing to me, I guess, because we don't see them in our everyday natural habitat. They just, it's hard to imagine those big, beautiful birds living somewhere naturally, um, but they do, you know? Yeah. And obviously, I, I, she was talking about them eating clay. I'm thinking that's kind of their tums, I guess. You know, it's like, oh, I got a little heartburn today. Oh, let's have some clay. That'll settle it down. Pretty yeah. smart. Yeah. 